Okay, this is a very simple seafood custard dish. Prawn linguine with chili, tomato, and parsley. So the first thing I'm gonna do, in time-honored tradition, is just skin this tomato. I'm just gonna skin it, I don't need to de-seed it. But as I've probably said many times before, if you're using tomatoes in a sauce in the winter, in the UK, you need to take the skin off. So I'm using the water that I'm going to boil the pasta in to blanch the tomato. That's gonna take 30 seconds. So just take that out. Yes, indeed it has. Just run it under the tap so I can handle it a little bit. And you can see now that the, the skin is beginning to come away from the tomato very easily. And that's all I need to do. Just chop, chop, chop. Okay, that'll do. Find a little dish to put my um, Italian dish. Put my tomato on. And now I go and bowl the pasta. And I'm trying to do this sort of ma massively uh, butch thing now. It's just opening the pasta by whacking it. It probably won't work, as it did. Now, rule of thumb, pasta packets are about 500 grams. So for a generous portion for two, really generous, but why not? I go for about half. So pop that into my boiling water, give it a good stir. And now seasoning. So I'm gonna add approximately three to four teaspoons in there. Two, three, four. The rule of thumb is about a teaspoon and a half of salt to every litre of water. So I'm just stirring it now just to make sure that the pasta isn't sticking. And I can't tell you, I mean I should be able to tell you how long that will take, probably about seven minutes, but I just prefer to bite it. And what I do like to do is make sure that my pasta is still very al dente, still quite tough on the tooth for the next phase, the source of the dish. So, so first of all, I'm gonna make this all with extra virgin olive oil turn the heat down a little because I don't want to burn my garlic. That was probably about 50 grams of olive oil. And now I'm just gonna chop up a bit of garlic, roughly. I don't need it to be a puree or anything. It's fine, that'll do. So into the pan goes that. Next, some chilies. These aren't particularly hot, these chilies. So I'll just put one in there. It will be, you know, a little bit hot, but I will add, add the seeds in most of my cooking. I do insist on the seeds being added because if I'm adding chili to a dish I do want it to be reasonably hot so that goes in there like that just going to take that off for a second and now for the prawns the sort of point of all this dish is really to make everything more or less at the last minute so let that cook well I'm just going to chop up some parsley to go in there roughly chop it this is broadleaf parsley anyway it's not the curly stuff that's good just put a bit of seasoning in there now and also a bit of pepper. I'm ready to go with the tomato now. And now the parsley. That's my sauce made. Nothing difficult about that, I think you'd agree. Pasta. Here we go. On with pasta. If you were in your house, maybe upstairs or down the corridor, and that smell came out of the kitchen, you'd be rushing in there. Is that what's for supper? 